Chelsea fans, you've had a lot of good news this summer. You've got one more piece of good news because Cole Palmer. Cole Palmer. Cole Palmer. City's boy is Chelsea's man. Cole Palmer. He's been tearing it apart this season, but what's so special about Chelsea's next superstar? Cole Palmer was born on the 6th May 2002 in Rivenshaw, Manchester. He joined Manchester City at under-8 level and progressed through the academy age groups before captain in the under-18 side during the 2019-20 season. He's got 14 goals and 9 assists for Chelsea in all competitions this year and has drawn comparisons to his idol Wayne Rooney, but... Can he be as good as him? But first though, we've got to go back to 30th September 2020 when Palmer made his first team debut for City in a 3-0 away win over Burnley in the fourth round of the AFL Cup. By that time, the 21-year-old had already been training with the first team squad for the past three months. Palmer played the full 90 minutes and could have easily scored one. His manager Pep Guardiola was full of praise for the attacking midfielder's display and a humble attitude afterwards. He said after the game, it's a dream come true to be at the club I've been at since the age of six and to make my debut and I'm glad we're in the next round. My outstanding memory was probably in the meeting room when the boss told me that I was starting. I was just dead excited and couldn't wait to play. It's mad being out there, they are the best players in the world and as a young kid coming through, it's a dream to play with players like that. Just over a year after his debut, he scored his first goal on the 21st September 2021 in a 6-1 home win over League One team Wickham Wanderers in the EFL Cup. And a month later, he made his Premier League debut against Burnley. But he found himself playing and scoring a hat-trick for City's under-23 side that same night. Do you know how mental that is to play two games of football in one day? A couple days later, Palmer scored his first Champions League goal in a 5-1 away win over Club Bruges. On the 7th January 2022, Palmer scored on his FA Cup debut in a 4-1 away win over League 2 team Swindon Town. He was already showing signs of being a class player. And then on the 6th August 2023, Palmer scored his first goal in the 2023 FA Community Shield against Arsenal after coming on for Hurling Ireland as a second half substitute. However, Arsenal did score in stoppage time and eventually won the match in a penalty shootout. Ten days later, Palmer scored another goal for Man City, which was an equaliser in the 2023 UEFA Super Cup against Sevilla. Man City ended up winning the game 5-4 after drawing the game 1-1 in regular time. He had the world at his feet, he was City through and through, he had City's DNA inside him and he looked to be following the footsteps of Phil Foden. But then, his career would go on to change. Chelsea fans, you've had a lot of good news this summer. You've got one more piece of good news because Cole Palmer has now been confirmed as a Chelsea player. On the 1st September 2023, Palmer signed for Chelsea on a seven-year contract with an option of a further year. The transfer fee was reported to be an initial £40 million, potentially rising by £2.5 million in add-ons. But his transfer fee did draw some sort of criticism as Chelsea paid £40 million for a player who'd barely made 20 appearances for Manchester City. So, you're probably wondering why Cole Palmer left Manchester City. Well, Palmer revealed in an interview that his intentions were never to leave Man City. But the club refused to let him go out and loan for a year, telling him you either stay or you get sold. Pep Guardiola just couldn't promise Cole Palmer enough game time. He made his debut the day after he signed as a 62nd minute substitute in a 1-0 home defeat to Nottingham Forest. On the 7th of October, Cole Palmer marked his first goal for Chelsea with a penalty, while also providing the assist for Nicholas Jackson's goal in a 4-1 away win over Burnley. A month later, Palmer then registered a goal and an assist in a thrilling 4-1 away win over London rivals Tottenham. But then six days later, he would come back to haunt his former club as he scored a penalty in the 95th minute to deny Man City a 4-3 win, with the game finishing 4-4. City were regretting letting him leave. Palmer scored his first goal from open play in a 2-1 away defeat to Manchester United on the 5th December. He's probably Chelsea's best player on the pitch, let's be honest lads. In Chelsea's final match of 2023, away at Luton Town, Palmer netted twice for the first time professionally, while also assisting Noddy Madueke's goal as Chelsea won 3-2. His teammate dubbed him Cold Palmer. His goal contributions at Luton saw him reach double figures in total Premier League goal contributions, becoming just the fifth Chelsea player aged 21 or under to achieve this feat. As a result of his performances during December 2023, which included four goals and two assists, Palmer was nominated for the Premier League Player of the Month award, and his second goal against Luton Town was also nominated for the Premier League Goal of the Month. On the 23rd January, Palmer scored another brace, this time in the EFL Cup semi-finals, as Chelsea defeated Middlesbrough 6-1, 6-2 on aggregate to advance to the final at Wembley Stadium. He scored his 10th Premier League Goal of the Season on 4th February, making him the first Chelsea player aged 21 or under to score 10 Premier League goals in a season. But this ended in a 4-2 home defeat to Wolves. In the next Premier League game, Palmer contributed to two stoppage time assists for teammates Conor Gallagher and Enzo Fernandez, 
to help Chelsea earn a 3-1 away win at Crystal Palace. That 40 million for Chelsea was looking like a bargain. On the 29th February, Palmer won the Men's Young Player of the Year Award at the 2024 London Football Awards. By assisting Axel de Sarsi's goal against Brentford on the 2nd March, Palmer became the Chelsea player with the most goal contributions in a season aged 21 or younger. This meant that he overtook Arjen Robin's tally of 16 contributions in 2004-2005. On the 13th November 2023, Palmer received his first call-up to the senior England national team. He made his debut on the 17th November, coming on as a 61st minute substitute in England's 2-1 victory against Malta at Wembley Stadium. So, the question remains, can he be as good as Wayne Rooney? While he might not be there yet, I do think he has the potential and once Chelsea start to click, there's no doubt that he will be up there very soon. But that is it for today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy this video, then make sure you leave a like. And if you're new here, do me a favour and hit that subscribe button. But let me know in the comments how good you think Cole Palmer is and can he be as good as Wayne Rooney? Love, peace, take care.